When the robbery group update was released, many people thought it would be the end of hypercrime grinding. However, that's not the case, and I'll be showing you the best tips to get hypershift with the robbery groups. I've pulled many hypercrumbs in this update, and I'm going to teach you how you can too. Play in a small or private server, and make sure you have two teammates that you're coordinated with. The worst thing about this update is waiting for people to close or open robberies. That's why you need a coordinated group of people to grind with. Also, I recommend that all three of you have Mobile Garage and the Volt Bike, because it's the best car in the game. Have a route of the robberies you're going to hit in each robbery group. I have a video on routes that you can use for each robbery group, but you should make your own, and make one that suits you the best. However, I recommend making bank last because it has a high risk. Because if you get arrested in bank, then you'll probably end up missing every other robbery in the route. Next tip is to not miss robberies that are important, like ones with hypercrumbs in it. If you're only going for hypercrumbs, then robberies like cargo ship and oil rig are okay to miss. Since these two robberies give you only money, there's not really a point. My last tip is to just trade for hypercrumbs. If you don't want to grind at all, just trade for all level 5 hypercrumbs and get hyper shifts like that. However, to do this, you've got to know the trading economy. I don't know much about the economy, so go check out Assault's Jailbreak. He's made multiple videos about trading and knows way more than I do. Those are my tips in getting hyper shifts with the robbery groups. I hope they switch it back because this is kind of annoying. But make sure you like and sub. It'll really help out.